So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, the concept of virtualization. So, uh, so what is virtualization, right? So virtualization is a very common approach uh, used in many IT organizations to solve uh, typical hardware utilization issues. Okay. So we will talk about what is virtualization, uh, but before that, uh, we need to understand what is the problem that uh, IT organization usually uh, faces with the hardware resource utilization, right? So let's consider there is an uh, organization called AX. So this is a new organization and they have uh, several applications. They want to run these applications. So uh, they, they have to purchase some hardware and then they have to run these applications on those hardware. Now consider this organization has certain applications like uh, they have a web application. This could be their uh, website of the organization. So uh, this, this web application might need a Windows operating system for now. Just consider it needs Windows operating system. So the same organization might have some other applications like they, they have a mail application, they need a mail server because the employees of the organization have to talk to each other, right? So they need a mail server. And also consider the mail server needs Ubuntu operating system for that. And similarly, they also have uh, one more application like they, they, need, uh, they need to keep track of all the employees' data, right? They need to keep track of the uh, performance of the employees, they need to keep track of the attendance. So consider there is a bunch of applications available to just keep uh, track of the employees' data. So let's just call apps. And let's consider uh, apps needs uh, some other operating system like Red Card. Now uh, we have three different set of applications running for the uh, available for the organization ads. Now these applications have to run in a certain set of servers. Now the organization has to purchase the hardware, right? So consider they purchase one hardware. So they purchase one hardware uh, and they install the Windows operating system into it so that they can deploy the web application into the hardware, right? And there is one more hardware which comes with Ubuntu operating system so that they can install the main server into that. And there is a, a, another hardware another physical hardware and which comes with RHL operating system installed within it so that they can apply the apps inside it, right? So everything is fine, all the applications are running fine in these hardware, right? But one of the problem that usually uh, the organization faces, the utilization of the resource is not very efficient. And the reason that I'm saying this is, uh, when, whenever we purchase a, a hardware, Usually the hardware comes with a certain uh, amount of resource. So when I say uh, resource, which means CPU, memory, uh, or it could be the storage space as well, right? So consider in this case, each physical hardware has certain amount of resources. Uh, in this case, let's consider each hardware has some 4 CPU and 8 GB of RAM and some 1 TB of storage space, okay? Each hardware comes with, this is the specification for each hardware. Now, uh, in a typical scenario, consider the web application is not consuming that amount of uh, resources. Say for example, the web application is just consuming one CPU and less than one GB of RAM, right? And similarly, the mail and apps also not consuming too much uh, uh, resources. Like it is consuming very less resources compared to what is already available in the hardware. So consider uh, each application is only uh, consuming just some 30 percentage of the resources. So this is the current condition, right? So the, all the applications are not consuming the resources very efficiently. And they don't need all those resources. So they just consume only 30% of the available resources, of the available CPU and the RAM. Now the problem is, literally 70% of resources are actually wasted. We paid money for the uh, uh, physical hardware, but we are not using the resources very efficiently. So how do we solve this problem? One solution to the problem, you might have, uh, you might say that why, why we need to purchase hardware with 4 CPU and 8 GB of RAM, right? We could buy hardware with less specification, like 1 CPU or 1 GB of RAM. But usually people don't do that. Uh, because setting up this physical hardware in a data center itself is a huge effort. So they need to find a specific space in the rack. They need to set up some cooling systems for these hardware, right? 
So when we purchase a hardware, we don't purchase with less specification. That is not very meaningful. So what is the other approach? What are the other options available to solve the problem? And another approach is maybe you can run all the applications into a single physical hardware so that we can just remove the other two hardware. That is possible. But the problem is each application has a tight dependency with the operating system. The web can only run on the Windows OS and the mail and apps also run on a specific operating system. And there is no way you can install multiple operating systems in the same physical hardware. Right? So that's the problem. So this is where virtualization comes into picture. So basically virtualization is not just about uh, installing multiple operating systems into the hardware. That's not the problem it is solving. But basically we need to be able to uh, provision a separate environment inside the physical hardware. Say for example, uh, this is your physical hardware. So you should be able to create a separate isolated environment inside the physical hardware for each application. So when I say separate isolated environment, it is not just about a separate operating system inside the same hardware, but at the same time, each environment should have its own file structure. Each environment should have its own CPU, own RAM. Each environment should have its own network. I mean, each environment should get its own IP address, right? And of course, each environment will have a separate operating system as well. If that is the case, if we have the ability to do this, then we can run all the three different applications into the same physical hardware. And we can solve this problem of uh, not utilizing the resources efficiently. So this is where virtualization comes into picture. So with, by using this concept of virtualization, you can actually create separate isolated environments into the same physical hardware. And I'm saying this isolation is very important. The reason is, um, so consider uh, there is a web application running, right? So now each physical hardware have some certain uh, amount of resources, like there's a four CPU and eight GB of RAM. And then you are running all the three applications into the same physical hardware, right? Now, in certain situation, if the web application is receiving more traffic, and then if it is consuming all the HGB of RAM available in the same physical hardware, then the other two applications cannot use any RAM, right? They may struggle. So similarly, if the mail server is using all the 1 TB of storage space, then the web application and the apps will suffer. So they cannot uh, do any operations, right? So this is why we need to have a dedicated, isolated environment inside the physical hardware. So that the applications can run individually and each application will get its own set of resources which they can consume. So that's the whole idea of virtualization. So basically you install a virtualization software on top of the physical hardware operating system and then this particular virtualization software will create the, uh, will provision multiple environments on top of the operating system. So that's the whole idea behind it. And uh, there are several uh, virtualization tools available in the uh, community, open source and the market. Uh, one of the most popular virtualization platform is the VMware. And even Red Hat and Oracle has also its own virtualization platform. Uh, so using that also you can create uh, very similar isolated environments and you can deploy your applications into that. So for this example, I just showed there are only three environments, uh, but in a real-time situations, uh, you can actually create some 100 to 200 VMs in a single physical hardware based on its capacity. So that's all about the virtualization. Uh, I have also given some uh, articles, reference links in the video description. Please take a look. Thanks for watching. Audio